widespread power cuts impacting everything from streetlights to homes and businesses. On Tuesday, Ecuador declared a national emergency and began rationing electricity. <laughs> President Daniel Novoa blamed the cuts on a lack of planning and corruption by the previous administrations and an ongoing drought. Tomamos una decisión fuerte. We took a strong decision once again because it's necessary, which is to declare the country's energy sector to be in a state of emergency. I've asked for the resignation of the minister. We'll cover 50% of the electricity bill for households for the month of April. Novoa highlighted the severity of the situation by implicating saboteurs and threatening severe consequences for anyone involved in disrupting the country's power supply. The drought is happening because of patterns linked to the weather phenomenon El Niño that are depleting the country's reservoirs to historic lows. This week, neighboring Colombia, as it deals with a severe drought, halted electricity exports to Ecuador. Restaurant owner Karen Verduga says without electricity, it's going to be a huge challenge to run her business. It affects quite a lot because you know that in restaurants we have products that can spoil. If electricity shuts down all the time, it affects us. Besides, the restaurant requires electricity because we need to blend for juices. It affects us quite a lot. It's not clear how long the power cuts will last. On Wednesday, the government ordered all public and private workers to stay home for the next few days. For Betty Morales, who owns a store in the capital, Quito, the decision hurts her bottom line. I can't serve people because it's dark. You can't make the payment work. It affects me a lot because I need to keep the store closed. Two days in and I've seen fewer clients. People come in but leave if the sea is dark. President Novoa had promised an end to power cuts when he passed an energy law earlier this year. Three months later, the power cuts are back with no end in sight. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.